Hey guys, okay, so this is going to be how I contour and highlight all of that fun stuff on my face. So this is the final look, and I absolutely love contouring and highlight. I do not do this on a daily basis. There are days where I will just, like, contour a little bit and highlight a little bit, but I don't go to this extent. This is kind of more of, like, a heavy contour for me. Everybody's different, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching. Bye. Hey guys, okay, so this is going to be my contour, highlights, and blush routine, my updated version. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So for um, bronzer, I'm currently using the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this stuff to contour. Um, you could also use a liquid foundation, but it's a lot more messier um, and harder to blend than a stick form. And you could also use a concealer as well. Um, so this is in the shade 355 Coconut. I believe this is the darkest shade from their line. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so basically what I do is I'm just going to outline where I contour. And I'm going to do one time on my face first so you guys can see like the difference. So um, my forehead, because my forehead is pretty big. And what you do to contour, like what it does, is it kind of just makes things smaller. For example, if you have a big forehead, it makes it smaller. Um, cheekbones and all of that. Jaws. And then my cheekbones. Like, And if you do not know where to contour, you could just feel where your cheekbone is and it's like right under where you usually uh, contour at. And then right here my my chin, my nose, and you could always go back and um, you know, add more to it if you want more of a heavier contour and all that. So this is what it looks like to no contour. And then highlight. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and Highlight. This is like the two-in-one. And this is in the shade Fair. And I absolutely love this stuff for concealer. But also I love it for highlight because it just brightens up your whole entire face. Um, so, and it has this little brush applicator. So you want to be careful that you don't get too much product. So I apply it under my eyes in a triangle. Like this. And I kind of just swoop it up. Not all the way to my temples, but when I blend it, that's where it will go. Okay, so I highlight m below my contour to kind of emphasize the contour on my cheekbones. And then also contour my cupid's bow down the nose, then in the forehead. Then the chin. Say we inside. You give us that. Okay, so what I use to blend out the contour is the Real Techniques. This is from their limited edition line, and this is the dual fiber contour brush. And I absolutely love it for the fact of blending anything, um, especially to get in like the little crevices and stuff. And this is an amazing brush. I love it. Um, but they only sell it in the uh, pack. Like it comes with three, two other brushes. So. Um, I first usually always uh, blend out my contour, then I blend out the highlight. So you kind of just want to kind of just stipple it into your uh, foundation. 
just kind of press, do dabbing motions, and then circular motion so it gets into the skin. And it does look super uh, heavy as a contour right now, but that's why you just keep blending out. You just blend this sucker out until you're liking. But I definitely love using the um, the foundation stick, like a cream concealer or cr anything cream for contour than a like a uh, powder I just find it way more convenient and it looks way way like natural you guys know what I mean so I just like to blend 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 And you can also use your fingers to blend it out, especially in like the little crevices in your nose because it's kind of a bigger brush. Okay, so once we have all the uh, contour, the browns are all blended, then we're going to go blend uh, the highlights and I just like to use the BH Cosmetics. This is like a foundation brush. This is from their Pop Art line. And also I like to kind of just dab it into my skin too. And kind of just blend it out. And basically what highlighting does is highlights parts of your face that you want to be highlight when the sun hits you or any natural light hits you. Then I do not do this on a daily basis um, or this heavy as a contour or highlight on a daily basis. Mainly for videos or if I'm going out or things like that. Because I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, I do not wear um, as much makeup as you guys see in videos, in daily life. Okay, then also, also what I like to do is kind of just pat it with my fingers because I love using my fingers as tools. I don't know, they're like the best tools ever. Okay, and then the last step, basically what I do, or not the last step, but um, almost the last step is I like to set the contour since I'm using a cream base. I like to set it with a powder so it lasts a lot longer. So I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. This is the lightest shade. And then just using the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I love using this to contour. So just kind of you pat it on to the areas that I use the cream base product. And this will darken it a little bit. That's it all looks like. And then the final step, what I like to do is blend everything together. So I just use my foundation brush. This is my newfound love. I love it. This is the Real Techniques uh, Duo Fiber. What is this? Face brush. It's amazing for foundation. So I just like to blend everything out until my liking because I don't like streaky lines or anything like that. So I just blend this all out. Get down my neck. 
and then there you go so you can tell the difference this side looks way more slimmer and prominent and more highlight than this side this side looks all boring so boring side amazing side boring side <laughs> so yeah so we'll just show you guys But yeah, I definitely love contouring and highlight because it makes a difference to your face. It, like, even if you don't have, like, you're not all done up, you don't are not wearing lips or eye makeup, it just makes a difference. And yeah, I just love it. So I'm going to go finish this side. I'll show you guys the final. So this is the final look. I have both sides contoured and highlight. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And everything will be down below in the description box. Bye guys.